name is Landon Mariano. I'm 16 years old right now, and I'm a junior at APA. I started when I was eight, but that was when I started dance. My first dance class was hip hop. It wasn't even like musical theater stuff. I wanted to be a hip hop dancer. My sister got me into that because, I don't know, I thought it was cool. I thought it was a nice environment to be in. Orange County Song and Dance. So they called my parents saying like, hey, we need a few kids to do a show with Musical Theater West, and it was Vita. <laughs> they said you were getting paid, and so like for an eight-year-old, that sounded amazing. Because it was a professional production. It was me, and then Haley Collins was one of them, and there were three others. So us two were from the studio, and that, that was where it all started, and that's where I'm like, okay, this is like something I definitely want to do. Auditions for Oliver, where I really wanted the Artful Dodger, but like, me being me, I really wanted it, but <laughs> I had not put in nearly enough like practice for that, so <laughs> I went into that audition and just, we'll, we'll forget about that. It's so fun being a part of that little gang, because, I don't know, I got to dance in that, I got to sing, and it was like, that's when I, I think I fell in love with theater, and that's when I'm like, oh, I just got to finish doing this for the rest of my life. I had originally auditioned for The Greatest Showman, because the one kid who sang A Million Dreams, his voice dropped during the filming of it. So they had my voice from it because I auditioned to sing Million Dreams. So the recording studio still had my voice and they called out my studio saying like, hey, we're filming this little like underground indie short film called Sing 2 where they need a little, it's like some little piggies because you know, the mom has like thousands of pig children. So they're like, hey, we have a song for them to sing. Can we have him back? So I was there with like maybe 20 other kids and we sang Thriller and so, I went to like maybe two or three recordings of that, but then we got a call saying like, hey, the Michael Jackson documentary came out, we can't really put Thriller anymore, so you're cut. But I'm still making bank from that, I don't know how. So it was mainly like Cora Shogram, like she was my neighbor. She's like, oh my god, like musical theater, like I'm gonna do this when I'm in high school. And so I'm like, oh, like, why don't I do that? And so I watched, in fifth grade, I watched Young Frankenstein. And that's when I saw my first opera production. I'm like, no way, this is like high school. So that's when I knew like I'll be here in my future. And then I, that was all online. It was all submitted online because it was COVID at the time. Then we made it in, we got here. And then I'm like, okay, like I'm like freshman can't do the first show anyways. So it's okay. But then Tim comes up to me <laughs> and a few other boys. He's like, hey, like we need some boys for Titanic. Can you come to callbacks? It's so like, oh yeah, sure. And so he calls us back. So I get John Jacob Astor. I'm paired with Ella, Ella Kerfer. Love her. That was my probably one of the first people I met here because like we had to do so much together. Love her. Miss her. It was hard to make friends at first, obviously, because like I was the new kid, but like everyone was so welcoming. It was insane. Did I think we were ever gonna do cabaret? Like that show, that was like my first big boy show. I wasn't even 15 yet. Like, I think I was just about to turn 15. I was 14. <laughs> and I was the only freshman Kit Kat boy. Like, taco, taco. But now looking back, like that's probably one of my favorite shows. Like, then we get to Pajama Game where I have my first featured number with Sophia and Nate. And it was just like this little Fosse number called Steam Heat. Um, you might have heard of it. It's nothing big, like, you know, just like a little thing in the Fosse culture. Okay, my freshman scene was Hello Dolly, is what I heard it was Tim's favorite musical, favorite show. And so I was like, okay, this has to be good. And of course, me being me, the tapper, I had to add tap into it. And it was me, Kai, Sofia Reyes, and Altrina Kazravi. Then I get a sophomore year. And we do Newsies. That was probably, that was it for me. That was when I was, like, I love Newsies. That was Henry. Seize the Day was amazing. I love that we were taught by Ryan. The fact that it was almost Broadway choreography was amazing. And then we did Grease and Sunny. I really liked that show. I never had gotten to play like the bad boy in a show. And like Grease is just such a fun, nostalgic show to do. But then we came to Drowsy, which no one had heard what the show was. No one knew what it was about. And I get George, my first like leading role in an app of production. It was like, it was, it wasn't real. Like, it was so fun. I was doubled with Taven, who is insanely good at dancing. Like, he helped me so much. We helped each other. Such an experience that I'd never want to forget, because it was so amazing. The Secret Garden. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I was not happy with it, because I didn't know what it was. 
<laughs> but it's good now. Like, we finished it today. I'm like, this is a really pretty show. But, like, we were all under the impression it was going to be Mean Girls. So I was like, what? What is this show? But then we got it. And at first I was like, Albert? Like, who is Albert? <laughs> Albert has such a pretty song. Like, I get it's a reprise, but, like, something that's so beautifully written. Like, there's no, not much dancing in it. It's mainly singing. It's, that's something I don't do much. So getting to do a vocally heavy show with lots of acting that has like, ups and downs and like quite a like heavy plot line is something that is crazy to think about. From thinking I was gonna be singing about the plastics and you know like to going to such a like beautifully beautifully written show that's almost like an operatic piece. It's a show filled with hope, sorrow, but also like inspiration. It's something that people need to see. I don't think about it often, of like how much it's done for me, but all the experiences and like friendships I've made from it is insane.